October 22, 1958. I received a phone call late at night, which didn't bother me as I couldn't sleep. All I could hear was some desperate dame on the other end. I told her to calm down as I lit my pipe. She informed me of some terrible news. A friend of hers, Jolly the Couch Robinson, was missing. Claimed abducted. I jotted down the important details and decided to get straight to work. The most logical approach at the time was to interrogate those present at the house where Charlie was last seen. The first cab of the rank was Lenny the Lamp Lewis, convicted 1954 for using too much electricity. A well-known criminal figure to those in the utilities industry. Where's Charlie? I don't know no Charlie. I find that hard to believe, Lenny, considering you've shared the lounge room with him for eight years. Oh, 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 that Charlie. Yeah, I, I heard he was getting his pillows dry cleaned. This couldn't have been the case. Charlie had his pillows dry cleaned only last week. But if I couldn't get any answers out of Lenny, my next interview was with Tony at the table, Asolopolis. Convicted, 1950, for holding too many coffee mugs. A shady character in the wood furnishing business. Where's Charlie? What, what, what Charlie? I, I, I thought he was getting his internals like that. I'm sorry? Y you know, getting vacuumed. It seemed as if no one wanted to help. I kept on trying. My next witness was Benny the Box Johansson, convicted 1952 for supplying illegal cable television stations. All right, Benny, what do you know about Charlie's disappearance? I didn't see nothing. Well, you would have been facing directly at him at the time, Benny. My screen was off. I ain't got nothing. You know, if it ain't on, I can't see squat. This looked as if it was hopeless. I knew if anyone could help, it would be Charlie's longtime friend and associate, Christoph the Cat Lewinsky. Convicted 1957 for eating the neighbor's fish. Can you help me at all with Charlie's disappearance? Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you on this occasion. That's grade A baloney, Chris. Look, don't get me wrong. Me and Charlie hung out all the time. I, I pretty much sleep on top of his cushions most nights. I just don't know where he is. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, guys? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just out visiting my new couch girlfriend. Hope you weren't getting worried. I knew then and there that my job here was done.